like to start by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land, the Bunurong, and to honour their elders past and present. This year is the 40th anniversary of the Ramsar Convention. It's also 40 years of Western Port and Peninsula Protection Council. Having Ramsar status means that any environmental effects statement has to be ratified by the federal government. I want to start by raising a 40-year-old document. It's our 40th anniversary and 40th anniversary of Ramsar. This is called The Shame of Western Port. It was all about secret plans of government, would you believe, about refineries and things. It's like Victoria Dock, uh, if you look at an old millway, multiplied by about 10 in scale. It was economically absolutely ridiculous, ecologically disastrous. All the mudflats and all, all the pre precious coastline and, and a great deal around Hastings and so on would be just devastated. That was the thinking that Henry Bolte, our Premier, had back in those days, and that thinking has just continued and continued, despite what has been put on, on the table. It would be an environmental nightmare if our port went ahead. The strategy of port corporations was always going to be, once they um, had their way with Port Phillip Bay, they were going to move on to Western Port Bay. And um, those early strategic thinkers have been proved right. And no wonder thinking people and concerned citizens are, uh, strive so hard to try and protect it. And the big point through our campaign is that this wonderful environment where the land meets the sea is no place to be plonking low-cost goods and containers. Western Port Bay is one of the most diverse communities in Australia. It has 1,381 invertebrates live in it. That's four times more invertebrates than live in Port Phillip Bay. So the, the dedication, the focus and the capacity that you guys put into preservation of Western Port Bay is amazing. You've just got to keep the focus, keep the spirit, because at some point there are going to be some really, really nasty challenges that you're already facing and they're going to get bigger because as the human population grows, our demand and thirst for oil and gas and chemicals will grow too. Let's ramp up Hastings. Let's go full steam ahead. Bring it on. Ten years, yay. Using the same old tired plan that we were concerned about and in fact they're using this, the plan of the old state government which is quite interesting. So basically what we've got is, is a, a massive port, four to six kilometres of, uh, of port of um, basically wharf um, which will be obviously dredging, uh, backfilling of mangroves and seagrass, major transport corridors. So from our point of view we're keen to see uh, the natural values of Western Port uh, protected um, uh, and I think the port development uh, would be very damaging to that. There's a real opportunity that we can once again, uh, probably for the third time Brian, uh, uh, stop the expansion of Western Port. I am just the tiniest drop in an ocean. What I'm working my butt off to make a different difference on this planet, and the planet <coughs> is just in so much trouble. We can be disappointed time and time and time again, but it's very, very important that we never lose hope that we can make a difference. Thank you. It's time to go.